Hi, my name is Sonia Howell. I am here to report on human performance technology and I could explain my favorite parts of it within 20 seconds. I could never give you a definition, but I do have 30 minutes worth of validation of why it's one of my favorites. So if you sit back, take a listen, maybe it'll be one of your favorites too. I have a report here that's taken me about eight weeks to uh, seven to eight weeks to put together and I'm just going to go through it. I have some slides for you and this uh, this report. So hope you enjoy it. Um, regarding the application of human performance technology in the field of online learning environments pertaining to the use of educational technology, HPV shows itself as a strong critic of analysis improving human performance while finding its own critics. HPV has found its way into organizations thrusting the need for educational technology to assist in filling gaps. Much of the technology may be considered some form of self-paced online education. Some corporations use other models with less effectiveness. HPV has a long history and multiple documented studies of use to determine which interventions would be best to move our existence along with great analysis to back the process created for improvement in training or non-training interventions created by instructional designers. Some results find online instruction using educational technology as a perfect interventions for a desired re result. The assessments and outcomes prove HPT to be well advanced and exact models for organizations. Some designers reported HTP as not the answer and documented the opposite, focusing on using instruction instead of interventions, believing HPT using educational technology online in a systematic way is a waste of time and effort, regardless of the critics. HPT is a strong model to use alone or with other models in sync with each other. HBT is not easily defined, yet the process is impeccable, non-comparable process with ability to create, find long-standing effects for organizations. An introduction to HTP model shows that the gap falls between desired work performance and the actual state of work performance, De um, the actual state that's going on right now. Um, Pepperton, Hoskins, and Benoniti. This means to designers that the end in the end, the outcome goal is measured by where the staff currently is and where they want them to be. The difference is the gap and just how to fill the gap. Makes common sense to me. For many corporations, educational technology is used to assess and share the trainings with staff to close the gap. Interaction and communication go hand in hand in professional environments, thus providing more opportunity to share information. With the technology of networks, People can receive and share content immediately in, to the entire com company. These corporation, for these corporations, this means that, among other things, that the message can be challenged, criticized, refuted, mocked, and parodied. McKee Porter. Multiple other types of analysis models have come and gone, while HPT stands and is used as a master still. Critics of other styles have mentioned it's an old system to promote themselves, yet documented, documentation shows it was used well then, now, and in future learning programs using educational technology or not depending on the needs for the, de for the desired performance, which depends on the gaps found in the analysis phase. Phases, While recognized strategic advantage, co advantage comes from performance technology, human performance technology, O'Driscoll. During this time, e-learning, e-training systems are being connected to organizational human resources while keeping their employees trained, Song and Kid. Budgets continue to show and are expected to move more into the direction of corporate online trading, Song and Kid. These online platforms are created within the environment for the same organizational organization and staff that need training, just as seen as other educational settings. The learner understands the ins and outs, outs of the material when it pertains to their organization when created by their own corporation and other companies with formal material or familiar materials, Song and Kid. HPT studies show that annual re reviews of corporate assessments, including businesses plan, falls short 
to create actions that actually move towards performance. Without looking into the entire company and assessing, these companies miss out on instructional or non-instructional opportunities to better their objectives. HPT and instructional technologies with many professions have similar diverse performance and learning goals. They all focus on people growing into their performance through improved learning. Cho and Cho. HPT is used to identify gaps of current and desired performances while using an instructional and educational technology to meet goals. Kang and Kang. Performance gaps and reasons for gaps are sought at for the same purposes during analysis consultations. The ISPI HPT model is a logical and mental iterative process performed in a sequence during the performance analysis and cause analysis, Kang and Kang. The persons who first studied HPT in the, in the, 70s, in the 70s analyzed how the employees performed rather than results of the outcome. This removed them from the inter, instructional designer category. Kang and Melinda. There is no agreed upon definition for HPT since the creation even with agreed upon similar traits for determining certain acts to follow when using it. Kang and Melinda. That's why I couldn't tell you in the beginning what the definition was. HPT's path to advancement in productivity is unique to alternative pursuits. The approved key, key attributes involved in the HPT process includes systematic, systemic, evidence-based, cost-effective, and ethical with the value of intervention determined through evaluation. To help organizations succeed and the community advance, Kang and Melinda. Kang and Melinda believed in a systematic intervention that came after evaluation, not before. The history of HPV or HPT, the, hist the history of HPT, you will find that there are many articles written by many designers referencing how the HPT model and how it positively affects performance issues. Educational technology has a long history, which began after World War II. It was greatly needed when training was needed for the technology used in the war. Martin. At this time, determining model such as human performance technology model was, was required to guide educational designers in a systemic and comprehensive study to regulate the interventions of training and or non-training designs and how to create adequate clarification to solve problems. HPT is a very mature model being scrutinized, explored, and referred to for years. Zerposky Pembroke. Chung and Chung reported using HPT using systematic steps to produce results. Pemberton, Hoskins, and Boninti shared how they determined performance issues using my favorite, gap analysis process. Kang and Melinda discussed correcting on-the-job performance. Gilbert, being more informal and favoring positive examinations, discussed performing fe performance feedback. He did not like the rude way some comment, some con commented that some staff are not worthy. Finally, Horde and Stefanik appreciated documenting their HPT findings on a regular basis. Human performance technology is valid when it's able to be com able to complete outcomes that match measured efforts of each stakeholder. Watkins, organizational and people's performances are attributed to HPT outcomes. The following systematic steps have assisted in changes resulted by using the HPT model. They include finding the purpose or reason, creating solutions, adding assessments, that the solutions are possible and able to be followed, the solutions are followed correctly, and the outcomes are evaluated. Chung and Chung. The best opportunity is to make sure the high achieving and willing employees are allowed to work at the best effort. Willingness is based on motivation, satisfaction, and engagement with the job, the boss, and the company, Chung and Chung reported. Finding if the performance is improved is a requirement for measuring success of the HPT process, Chung and Chung. Chung and Chung believe better results would be had when positive roles and influences were provided to individuals. When applying the HPT process to learning comments, the authors found that the performance issues within the organization and employees helping find solutions for the issues. Performance issues were solved by the HPT model. Pemberton, Hoskins, and Boniti. Gap analysis, my favorite, 
has specific ways to measure current performance versus the desired performance outcomes determined by using the data collected during the organizational and environmental analysis. The HPT model shows that the gap falls between the desired work performance and the actual state of work performance. Pemberton, Hoskins, and Boninti. I'm going to say that multiple times in this because that, that is what determines it. Consequences and incentives may be helpful to improve performances. Training may not be the only option to benefit performance objectives. Identifying performance issues using the HPT model may be used to d identify other issues of trainings that have not influenced more satisfying results. It may be beneficial to implement other non-training actions to reach the, the results sought after. Pemberton, Hoskins, Boninti. The use of formal discipline may be the most useful non-training tactic to achieve goals according to assessment conducted by Pemberton, Hoskins, and Boniti. Low productivity has been blamed by ideals of minimal interference with no proof or real studies behind the options of uneducated managers. Saying that people are too dumb or just don't care being the reason why they do not work to their top ability is easy to say, Gilbert. In sentence... Incentives, information, and instructional design are performance technology vocabulary words that can help make big, huge strides in performances. Gilbert, incorrect measurements of identifying missions and key accomplishments, performance and observation will call pro cause problem areas. Gilbert, Gilbert forces managers into looking further into their staff's lack of performance and degrees with a disrespectful, sl without a, with a dis respectful slander. Long-lasting improvements in performance will not happen if the interventions are not lined correctly. Valuable results should be the first focus when using performance technology and making decisions. Watkins. The human performance technology is relied upon by performance improvement practitioners to assist in creating interventions for organizations. One of the most overlooked or misunderstood part of HPT model is a process to create the vision, mission, and values for an organization. Kirkpatrick. Alignment begins with strategic goals and objectives of individuals, organizations, communities, and societies. It begins with these inter intentions because they define the expectation expected results of any performance improvement efforts. Watkins. Kirkpatrick dis defines concept as vision is the positive impact that the organization wants to have. A vision statement is a formal dis description of the organization's desire. Long-term future state. Mission is the organization's purpose and mission statement defines the products or services provided to customers or constituents. Values are ideas that are important and that the organization seeks to retain. They define the means and behaviors by which the organization will go about attaining its vis visions. Strategy is how the organization will carry out the vision and mission. He states that some companies do not summarize vision and mission, vision and mission statements together. While vision and values are combined, some combine the vision, mission, and values altogether. If the HPV each PT processes were completed and understood fully, these standard definitions would not be combined and would be statements to take action on. The human performance technology was created to help use a strategy ideally for implementation of a process to improve performance for people and organiza organizations with technology to grow the companies and new innovations needed to fill the gaps for productivity. This leads to comprehending and predicting and proactive production of creations for the future markets. Collaboration and teamwork within organizations are motivated with employee involvement. Kang Chung and Chung, HPT choices are optimal for performance goals when strategic outcomes are aligned. The performance expectations are moved forward with performance expectation achieving the best results when these expectations are the focus. Watkins. Organizations who have leaders devoted to the creation and identifying the characteristics of improvement towards public policy implementation use HPT to add value by approaching their goals systematically. Andrews, Farrington, Packer, Kaufman. The end goal is achieved by using powerful technology to help people who use HPT. Andrews, Farrington, Packer, Kaufman. How educational technology fits in with corporations. Many popular 
online interactive technologies unexpectedly found themselves into the workplace with corporate trainings from simulations, networking, collaborations, to communications, combining multiple types of technology or mixed media to present as a resource and to also use as assessment devices. An unexpected, an unexpected, relatively new, popular piece of technology with consumers has found its way into corporations as a multiplayer online game favored by role players. Virtual reality player games such as Second Life. Second Life is created by users limited only by their imagination and open-ended three-dimensional location in the virtual world. Second Life was created for fun and personal entertainment and is now being used in corporate environments. The open-ended variable of the technology allows corporations to, cust to be co customized by the users, making it perfect, a perfect location for education and creation. Strength and, and weaknesses are being investigated by authors for designers who may want to use Second Life to find what may cause problems during enhanced training, collaboration, or market strategies. Burkett. Yu Yu, Sun, Sun, Chen, Chen found the results of their augmented reality correlation with a person's relative interest, retaining that they have learned in the process of being taught using this wearable technology during some directional tours compared to audio tours only. The students' interest was increased with visual cues and they were entertained while learning and they enjoyed and excelled more. Lee Tran Tran Jen Jen Von Von reminded us that learning activities in STEM class should resolve around the authentic context just as they were using with the augmented reality. Understanding how the outcome, skills, and knowledge are relevant to real-life situations is as important as the learning process itself. This circles us right back to using interactive technology in the workplace or simulated training and many other options proven to supply positive practices of human performance and academic motivation. Correct assessment is needed for gamification and fun technology. Sargent doesn't believe this assessment is available and may not be being assessed correctly, or at least the results are not understood or readily available. He believes it's not being used to fill a gap other than motivation. He does not believe real assessment is being respected and that these fun educational tools may simply be marketed tool more than a useful piece of technology. Others believe gamification is very effective and the research is just as new as the technology. Both are in their infancy stages. Motivational game points, badges, awards, and other game-like graphics and systems can be used in the corporate world as much as educational, recreational, or entertainment. These games, like learning environments, are thought to motivate learners and some say the high motivation of gamification increases learner achievement. There is no scientific evidence to confirm this is useful. Sergeant, in online learning or general e-learning, instructional videos are common. A video classroom can be compared to a classroom at school. A webinar is also known is also a known concept. This format can be compared to a seminar or workshop at a university. Online seminars and online courses where learners participate in classroom-like materials or videos and complete assignments. When questions come up about the content, tutors are available to assist the learners. Massive Open-ended courses are open courses freely available online with possible meetups, video conferences, when interactions take place. OnLive gives the option to vary how the courses are designed. Online courses can provide similar opportunities for participants such as self-paced learning, have a start as well as an end date, and provide college credits, a badge, learning community, scripted assessments, and feedback. Um, Silek Reisinger. Training as a, a behavior technology was taken indirectly from cognitive psychology as a theoretical plan. Key tactic, tactics are the same for some teachings. No matter if the class materials use the technology named advanced organizer or conceptual lattice work or similar structures, they're all created with the same structure. Edgar. Technology is not neutral. It's not merely instrumental and our uses of it changes us fundamentally. Communication technologies are said to be active agents shaping humans and their activities, but not determining when or who we communicate with or where we are. Prior to now, they were simply devices to share information to and from. 
Ethical communication may be influenced to be designed at the front end and keep technology moving in the correct direction. McKeon Porter. The HPT model has much more defined path, even if it's not specifically defined. The technology cannot rule, but the educational material and desired outcomes can be met using many types of technology. Currently, efficient processes and improvement of performances or goals for organizations. Online learning can provide shorter class time when time is of the essence. This os option is enticing. Online experiences may have shorter amount of text, more concise, and the fluff stuff is removed. Edgar. Organizations have found it beneficial to create their own short, quick self-help files in an online internet or intranet infrastructure library of sorts for their staff that pertains to job specific, searchable and reachable in the moment of need. Edgar, web-based training and cognitive behavior therapy training and exercises can be shared on these company networks, intranet or intranet are grouped under the same e-learning classes or are available on some CD-ROMs requiring technology to participate. Selec and Rissinger. Corporate Online Educational Technology. Selec Reisner summarized concise corporate training and human resource department trainings can be housed using online technology department trainings. Saving time, money, and travel are just a few of the benefits of the online training allowing staff to consistently learn content more readily. In order to determine which classes to provide and personnel to train online versus face-to-face, -face, assessments and skill had skills had and skills needed are used. Performance objectives are measured at of each learner and their abilities to find out which needs need to be taught. Horde and Stefanik. Performance intervention and training have gray areas of understanding for the learners. Employee level of performance intervention is hard to assess when the learners can not are not certain why they are taught something new. Horde and Stefanik. Observation is needed to determine day-to-day -day procedures to find if the adventure in interventions works comparing the company's standards. By addressing each standard individually and looking through the lens of the day-to-day -day operations of performance improvement practitioners, practitioners in the field can re-examine or confirm the need for revisions to the existing standards and their alignment with everyday practice. Horton Stefanik. Evaluation and re venting materials determined by need and the learning process was the head of the approach for Hork and Stefanik. They also confirmed that the human resource department and training and development departments benefit from the online learning outcomes benefiting the whole company. Additional um, models and crit critics. Forms of measurements or other <clears throat> the naysayers. Forms of measurements other than HPV mo HPT model have been used in studies to evaluate performance. This performance measurement in some articles is merely the outcome of using the technology in its acceptable behavior and not as a tool to find a gap. Positively or negatively influence perceived academic performance and academic motivation can help measure performance. It can be assumed that based on perceived academic performance, students with stronger academic motivation may not call um, compulsively use internet or use it for academic purpose, while students with less academic motivation may compulsively use internet for entertainment purposes when they should be doing their schoolwork. Studies also show that if you can find one confirming position on a model, you could also find the opposite opinion. A simple research on your browser for gap analysis performance, you'll receive about 298 million results in 0.71 seconds. Human performance technology is not listed on the first two pages, yet it is still the, high, the highest used and most respected model, as you have read in this, or as you have heard in this material. Educational technology and HPT results continue to rise above the critics who say that there are no results and possibly a waste of time. Fans of other types of analysis models say that HPT process is long gone and not used while many fans of HPT are still documenting current achievements of HPT. HPT and Agile are both principle-based approaches, both sustainable and compatible. HPT teaches the practice of performance consulting while representing a skill set that involves collaboration, relationship building, and front-end analysis. 
elements are missing from the agile process Zorowski and Pembroke. The HPT professionals and instructional designers tend to use non-technology solutions for performance improvement possibly just as much as they use training in, as interventions. IT and ET specialists are more likely to use technology only. Cho and Cho. Many scholars have, believes, have believed HPT is the way to measure performance. Zorowski and Pembroke says that while HPT is an old mod model and Agile is a new model, they can be used side by side instead of replacing each other. HPT and Agile instruction systems have a way of working together to assist in finding solutions to advance. Instructional solutions neutral, foster, fostering improvement of performance more than solutions or methods of instruction is the way of Agile instruction design. It adds value to goals for organizations with all the stakeholders and team members involved, including the experts in the field of working together instead of combining efforts with separate results. The last 40 years have been have seen ever-repeating cycle of hype and hope, adoption of much herald, heralded new tools or methods, lack of evidence or positive educational outcomes, and subsequent transfer of enthusiasm to the next of development. Cho and Cho. Many designers and developers want to come up with the next best method to use to determine how to improve performances and outcomes. Zorowski and Pembroke is opposed to HPT and says they think focusing on instructional method methods is more important than using HPT model or other designing models. They believe all of the models are the same, but not as important as understanding the instruction to the fixed performance problem. They insist on reversing the engineered agile instruction design process and using too quickly to find the performance problems with the performance analysis disregarding the agile or HPT process. Zorowski and Pembroke states that people who use HPT have distracted themselves with systems that are too strict and are blind to opening up needs and causes leading to solutions for training opportunities and too focused on perfor performance interventions. Conclusion. Humans perform Conclusion. Human performance technology has been around since 1962 and helped define interventions for many fields and has matured to where it is today. Beginning with the very first meeting, in the purpose of creators of HPT was to find ways to improve human performance, O'Driscoll. These human performance technology developments and designs to find the gaps are regardless of the type of educational instructional, instructional technology used, the field of online learning, or the use of educational technology in the traditional classroom. In learning environments defined as any formal educational setting, but not limited to K-12, higher education, vocational education, corporate training, or military training in, in any narrow focus. As previously mentioned, the process of HPT can find the difference of desired work performance and the actual state of work performance. Effects of an exceptional model. Other models come and go. HPT stand the test of time. And another thought, effects of an exceptional model. And we know that for those who love God and all, thing, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Thank you.